I don't know if you're anything like me, but I lose the track of time. So today, I've got a photo tile, thanks to a free printing company, and I've got a clock. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna make a custom clock, of course, but first of all, I'm aware that I'm terrible at miters. So, what am I gonna do to remedy that? I'm gonna change the blade from a multi-material blade over to an 80 teeth per inch blade, which hopefully will make everything a little bit neater. So first of all, let's do that. And then I'll explain what I'm gonna do. Catch you in a second. So what do I do? First of all, I'm building a frame, which means the wood's gonna be like that. So I'm doing another frame because I wanna add some lights in. So I'm gonna slightly offset it. Thank you. 
Okay, frame is done. Two motors, nice. What's next? Well, it's not a Danny Lauren project without some lighting. So I got some pretty cheap LED strip lights. And when I say pretty cheap, they're a quid. USB powered, and you can't say fairer than that. No, at the time, I'm late to my Monster Munch sponsorship deal meeting. Last bit, nice and short video. <laughs> nice and short video. <laughs> what were my objectives? Making a wall-based, customised clock. And boy, we gone done it. I'm quite happy with it. The lovely Dandelion brand logo. Didn't cost a lot. The clock was from Ikea. The board was from an old bed. I used the slats. And then the photo tiles from a company called Freeze Prints that we use in the UK. I don't know what you'd use in America or in any other country. So if you know, leave it in the comments to help other people out so they can try and have a go at making this. Now, if you like the video, remember to click like as well as subscribe as it does help the channel grow a lot. And if you do want to keep up with what we're up to at the moment, head over to the Instagram, which is at dandelion underscore creations. I'll put it on the screen somewhere to help you out. Other than that, it's a nice quick build. Unfortunately or fortunately for me, it's going to be small builds at the moment, as we're hoping to move out soon into a new house. What does that mean? It means big builds, it means workshop builds, and it means figuring out how to build the big builds, as well as figuring out how to build the workshop. But it's all fun and games. I'm having a lot of fun doing this, and I hope you are too. Anyway, without further ado, I'll see you next time, and stay dandy.